Nawe tu wagenda kubiri kumi na muna ane binyanya ni biyongi lako kusinga ludi uwe vyali. Echo sichi tufe choga nti amajiga koze uwe vya gajeku nyanja. These were fishermen from the island district of Karangala in early 2020. They appreciated the presence of the fisheries protection unit of the UPDF on the lakes. Amajenga tegana jaku nyanja tuvade wanuola wakumualu wetuli wano tuvade tuwasigaza wa amatu limuwa habili ya satu wana nganagote gacha ina mirimu. Omuntu omuvubi ye abade omuombele ye miaka anga kumineta anwe mabega. Abata inzate kulaba chino chiri wana aganti amajega veo. Two years later their counterparts from Ngora on Lake Nyagwo extended a similar request. This clearly indicated that the FPU, as goes its acronym, was not on the lake for a picnic, but for a mission to restore sanity. These lakes are given to you by God. The, but God gave them to us to use them properly. About five years later, there are many positive changes on the lakes. Neither the army nor the political leadership of the fisheries sector is apologetic about it. At least security-wise, we have improved. They got over 27 guns in the lake, where our neighbors and criminals used to come and beat the fishermen, grab their boats, grab their engines. Two, uh, the catches increased at a certain time, especially at the beginning. Although we have now up, ups and downs, but even currently, the fish is trying to grow again, and uh, it has increased in size. And the message maybe I can send to the fishing community, let us desist from immature fishing. They should use a good fishing gears. They should catch mature fish so that they can earn more. In fact, also they can earn more and even the government will earn more living. The success of this has been due to sensitization which has not ended just on the lakes. Yes. It has been extended to the fisheries processing factories to ascertain the extent of adherence to restraint from catching immature fish. And the aim of harvest is to assess the fish stock and to create a positive working relationship between FPU and the fish factories. People have appreciated the value of the lake. They have known sustainable ways of, uh, of preserving our, our natural resource. This has not come without challenges. Some unscrupulous fisher folks still exist which compromises the potential of the sector. Illegal fishing is still very serious because it, 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 fish, fish is food and where there is food you have to fight for people to improve. There is a call for what some describe as a brutality to stop. Our fishermen should continue to form themselves into groups and through those groups whether they are circles or small service groups, they should be able to get to benefit from government, getting finances, funds to be able to acquire relevant gear so they can stay on the lake illegally. Given attention, the fisheries sector could become the leading foreign exchange earner for Uganda. Henry Okrut, UBC.